I found this caterpillar on a leaf of chopped kale in a bag from the grocery store. I try to avoid buying kale because it tends to have caterpillars and or aphids on it, but this bag was bought by my mother. Fortunately, I've only found one caterpillar in the whole bag. Organic kale tends to be worse in that it has more bugs in it, and locally grown kale is far worse than any store-bought kale in terms of the numbers of bugs it contains. I've seen some locally grown kale with perhaps one or two caterpillars on each leaf. Likewise, some locally grown broccoli may have five to ten caterpillars per head. From a distance, this tiny caterpillar might seem trivial, but up close we can perhaps sympathize with it more. It survived the entire process of harvesting the kale, bagging it, and letting it sit on supermarket shelves and the caterpillar is still alive and squirming. However, the caterpillar seems to be in bad shape and will probably die after several more days of struggling. I could squish it, but I'm nervous that I wouldn't do so quickly enough to avoid excruciating pain, since caterpillars tend to be difficult to squish completely in one blow. The tragic story of this caterpillar is just one in a mountain of bug suffering around the world. But insofar as we can often sympathize better with single individuals, we can use this example to emotionally reinforce the importance of insect suffering in our minds. Thank you.